Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of cancer, for love and relationship, for the month of March Cancer, you find like, you know, really you are finding out things. You are trying to, some of you like, you know, trying to see the light about things or more shed lights about a situation. Some of you that a question or questions have been on your mind and you're going to find out. Um, you want really like, you know, to verify all of the information in your life, like, you know, about the person that you are dealing with at this time. You focus on, like, you know, that the obligation at this time. You want really, like, you know, to be with the person, uh, to be really in commitment with you. And I get here that uh, the other person is really fed up with you, like, you know, just because you keep initiating or mentioning the same thing over and over. And it's kind of like they keep being moody about or trying to explain to you how much that they care for you, but they can really, either like you know, someone that you're involved with is uh, getting a divorce and it's not over yet. Or they want to get a divorce and it's not over. They could be separated from that person. They are not with them anymore. You are involved with someone. But um, it looks to me here that there is a lot of obligation for somebody also for them to move on to be with you. They love you. This person love you. They care for you a lot. But if you keep focusing on the obligation right now, this is the obligation. Like, I am with you for a reason. I want to marry you. And you, the other person, like, you know, okay, we'll get married. But, you know, it's just like, you know, wait, because I, I cannot really get married right now. I have something to do. You feel that this person is giving you excuses? No. It's not an excuse. Actually, it's a fact. It's a reality. There is something going on there because they want to move on from a certain marriage, certain commitment with somebody. Um, you kind of like finding that, you know what? This isn't what I want right now. I need to walk away. Maybe I should break up. I should be with someone else. You are telling yourself. You, you keep really seeing yourself that, okay, I'm walking away, but you keep really coming back with this person again and again and again. Don't rush into taking decisions right now and don't rush the person that you are with because it's getting so overwhelming. You become angry. The other person is angry with you. You are, they feel you are not understanding them. It's like they are telling you, you want to hold back because I cannot really like, you know, really uh, finalize the divorce. It's in the court, uh, like, you know, hands, not me. And you want to walk away from me because of that? Because I cannot really marry you today or tonight. And you are like, why we are not doing it? Why we are not really getting married? Why are... And they tell you why, but you are not listening. Do not really like, you know, rush or into decisions at this time or rush your relationship, either break up or marriage, because you can end up being disappointed. You are already disappointed that your relationship with this person hasn't been progressing for a while or a long time. I agree with you, but they explained to you in the beginning, this is what they are going through and you accepted the rule and now you are rushing it because you are loving this person more and more. You don't want to be treated as you are an affair. You don't want to be treated as someone on the side. I agree with you also. 
and it says here this person is not agreeing with uh, like you know treating you like on the side but you feel like you haven't introduced me to your family or anybody else you deal with me personally because if I introduce you to someone else this is the other person saying that to family or friends they're gonna go and tell this individual that I am with is still attached in relationship or marriage or something they will ask for more they will sabotage it they will try to be really like you know just bringing a problem our relationship will be destroyed he's he or she is trying to tell you that but you are like no maybe they are cheating maybe they are not into me maybe they are maybe their family are really trying to keep him away from me maybe no this says here like you know, clear your thinking you could be really negative sometimes thinking you think negative or you think wrong that's what does it mean this person is coming through to you to move forward with you but if you become if you frustrate this person more and more he or she will get negative about this marriage and they become really frustrated and angry and they might really just blow the whole thing so they might really break up with you once in a while but you keep coming back with each other so it's really better to wait enjoy the love between you two but you are worried and you don't trust that you keep continuing with this person years and years to come and this person never done anything about the relationship i understand where you are coming from this person is kind of like you know, finding really the love the happiness the enjoyment between you two and he or she wants you to be just strong they don't want to be pushed around by you to tell them what to do in the time that they cannot do it a lot of people would prefer that okay i signed this paper it's done no a lot of people sign that paper but there are divorces are not finalized yet sometimes this person fight with you because you keep repeating the same thing over and over and over yep this person think that you and him or her in a committed relationship this is the relationship they choose they have you they are intimate with you only there isn't anyone else they mean it even like you no know, a lot of them ask you to move in you are revealed to other people but not maybe everybody and you need to stay until their situation finish for them to be fully on paper with you you are like no i cannot really continue like this it's not gonna work i suspect like you know they are not loyal they don't want to be with me um but it's like you need this person not all of you some of you need this person financially materially too you feel like you know, this person is not giving me the whole attention i need to decline them and walk away but you're not walking away why you keep doing that okay this person feel guilty that they are not really giving you exactly but in the same time they feel they are losing you they are losing their patient they are really starting to have temper with you it's kind of like be careful be like be patient with me a lot of them are divorced also already or they are not really like you know, in marriage but they have a lot of expenses debts to pay responsibility kids whatever and you are like i don't care we'll take care of it and they are like no not now you think like you know really sometimes also the other person is still attached to their exes or they want them or uh, they want to go back with them or they are in love with them they say no they don't want anything they let them go they don't want nothing to do with them they will never marry them back it is over between them and that person see your person let go their past they don't want to be with this actual person that they were dealing with before it's over they don't want to marry them they don't want to be with them it's over they let them go see they let them go they are not attached to them 
even if they are still married to this person but separated, they don't want to be with them. So rest assured, be confident that this person is not really fooling around with you. They want to be with you. Just you need to give it some time. It says here, unfinished business between you and this person. He or she have really too many plans. You want to walk away because you doubt that this person is going to be with you. Or you doubt yourself and you think this person is really just having an affair with you. Don't have that doubt. You are confused here. You're going to really come back to this person. So if you walk away, you're going to sit there alone waiting by the phone. Is this person going to call me, propose to me, come back to me? And sometimes it's too late. They might really end up like you know, really meeting with someone else. Don't destroy what you have right now if you are into this person because this person is not lying to you. They try their best to explain things to you and tell you, but you are not listening because you have that disbelief. The way they treat you sometimes, it feels to you like you know, maybe, or give you attitude, you feel like you know, that they're just really having a good time with you. You know, because their way is not really the right way like to show you that they care. But think again, this person have gone like you know, to do a lot of really good things with you. They are not fooling around or anything. And just be patient. Don't judge the situation wrong. That's it. Okay? And you will win. Best of luck for you, dear Cancer. I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. The link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. Click on reading prices, purchase your reading, then give me a call. And the phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.